just to remind you, I just want to start with the schedule so you see what's happening. Uh, we got Jeff on here, and then Alex, I think he's already on. And then uh, what we'll do is, again, don't do anything physical if you shouldn't be. Check with your doctor. Be sure that you can do stuff, um, all of that normal stuff. And then um, the next thing, a disclaimer, hey, nobody's making you do this stuff. Don't do anything stupid, and don't blame anybody for what you did to yourself. <laughs> so be nice. Be excellent to yourself. Uh, and your training partners and 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 us. Lastly, um, just helpful hints. Stay on mute, please. And everybody's doing a great job with that. I really appreciate that. You might even want to turn off your camera to save bandwidth, but that doesn't seem to be a problem. Just a thought. It also may uh, uh, serve as to to not distract people. You'd want to pin the instructor. So the person you're looking for now is Chad Bailey. Um, so push the push pin button on him so he stays in front. Ask questions in chat. Please do ask questions in chat. I will, if you don't want to speak up, I will speak up and ask them for you. And then turn on closed captions if you can, because it's a nifty way to make sure that you see what's been spoken in case you can't quite hear. And with that, we've got Chad's uh, screen that I made. I have a logo so that he, you can see his logo. Uh, and I'll turn it over to you, Chad. Thank you. Hey guys, this is Chad Bailey in Miami. Um, just a quick uh, background. Um, I started Filipino martial arts with uh, Grandmaster Rumi Presas. So the base of um, what we do in Progressive Arnis is definitely modern Arnis. Um, also combined with another uh, instructor system that I trained back at that time, uh, Guru Billy Bryant's Kadena Damano system. Um, I also had the opportunity to train a lot in Inosanto Kali, uh, Lameco Escrima, and then more recently in Kakoya Dosa Paris. So um, pretty much progressive our niece is the synthesis of uh, most of the things I learned. Uh, we're gonna work a double stick drill today called a uh, double stick shield contrata. So uh, grab two sticks and let's get started. So we're gonna start with just a little bit of movement. Um, the, some of the footworks we might use today are our sidestep or quartering. Working both sides. While we do that, when we step to the right, we're going to put up a right vertical inside deflection and a left vertical. If we decide to work the forward triangle, we're still putting up that vertical. Right step, right block, left step, left block. If we take it to the step and pivot, Capite still putting up that vertical block. So you can use any, any of those footworks. If it's close range, you're probably going to be sidestepping. If it's more mid range, you're going to be using the open triangle or uh, Capite. So now with that step and that vertical block, our other stick is going to shield behind that vertical block. Then we're going to open two abanicos to check and strike. On the opposite side, still vertical, shields behind, two abanicos to open, check and strike. Block, check and strike. Block, check and strike. You use one of the other footworks, quartering, check and strike, quartering, check and strike, open triangle, open triangle. So right now with a partner, you're just doing and you can give and take. He feeds me forehand, backhand, I feed him forehand. Backhand. I could feed same stick, a one and a two, or I could feed the opposite stick, right stick, left stick. So in the air, you're working your shield. Shield, check and strike. Shield, check and strike. Whichever foot works you want to work. Some people only have a post to work with. So if 
Mike gives me a post. So I do my shield and my strikes. I do my shield and my strikes. Really a vertical crusada and then a horizontal opening. Vertical crusada, horizontal opening. So whether you have a partner or a post or whether you're in the air, let's just work that forehand, angle one side, backhand, angle two side. One more, and the backhand side. Now we're going to a mid-level strike, like a three. Same exact block, just lower, and four. Same exact block, lower. Then maybe the low line, down to the knees, our six and seven. So you got the high line, one and two. Mid-line. Three or four. Low line. So with the partner now, you're striking high, high, mid, mid, low, low. And notice that when I'm doing this with my partner, I'm getting a really strong destruction on that crossing because this is not on the stick. This is on the hand. Both are hitting the hand and I'm hitting the hand and the ribs. Both are hitting the hand and I'm hitting the hand and ribs. So we're working high line, mid line, low line. Forehand high, backhand high. Forehand mid, backhand mid. Forehand low, backhand low. So one of the things I'm going to say as, a, as a, a piece of advice is that try to keep the stick that's going to shield low. So when I'm in my inside deflection, this hand's way down here. And that way I can adjust different heights. It's already ready to do low because it's down there. If I already have my stick started and it comes low, then somehow I got to get this stick down. It's probably not going to happen. But if I'm open, then I can come low, middle, or high from my position. So it's almost like when I finish this one, this stick is down, leave it down so that it's already ready for the other side. After I finish my strike, this one's down, leave it down for the strike. So you're working high forehand, high backhand, mid forehand, mid backhand, low forehand, Low back. Questions on that so far? At this point, then you can go into more of a freestyle striking where you might do your uh, angles of attack pattern. You might just attack randomly. You might add thrusts. And you're just going to keep doing it the, um, based on those height zones. Um, so if um, Mike gives me our angles, so one, two are normal. Three and four, we've already done those. When he goes five, I'm applying that shield to the five. Seven, six and seven, eight, and nine. Applying it to the overhead. So it doesn't matter what angle it comes on, you can always do it. So for one round, almost like a shadow boxing round, imagine or visualize your angles of attack or any angles of attack pattern coming at you, and you're doing your shield contratus against those angles. Go. I'll go real slow. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So with your partner, that might look like this. One, slow. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
So that's again, it's more of a random attack. And then you can just make it totally freestyle and you can just attack the person, whatever angle you want to attack. And then they can respond from those angles. Um, it's kind of hard to do with imagination and visualization. You can, you can kind of do it, but you don't get the same timing. Um, so from there, what I, what I want you to remember is that you're finishing there with two sticks in your hand in a mid-range position. You've just checked their arm and hit their ribs. So any of your Sinwali drills are a follow-up. So he gives me the one. When I get to here, he gives me the two. When I get to here, so I can use any of them. It doesn't matter whether it's an abanico. It doesn't matter whether it's an Anayan. Doesn't matter. Whichever drill or Sinwali you want to add, that's now your striking pattern. Okay, so let's do one round where, again, we're just going to go off uh, forehand, backhand, high, mid, and low, just to keep it easy. And then you're adding whatever patterns you want to add. You could even add some of the things that Angelo was doing, those backhand jabs, those redondos, those downward figure eight ocho ojos. So all of that's fine. Remember, you got two sticks, so you can do it with two sticks in your hands. High forehand. High backhand, mid forehand, mid backhand, low forehand, low backhand. So you can add any of your Sinwalis and they become your follow up patterns. Um, at that same position where you're ending in the check and ending in the strike to the ribs, we can also do some of our double stick disarm. So from the one, I block, I check, and I strike. This comes down the back towards the hand, this checks the stick, and there's my scissor disarm on that side. Strike, tracks down the arm to the hand, push and pull. There's my scissor disarm. Watch it on Mike's side. Helping me today is uh, one of my black belts, uh, Mike Staten. Remembering, we probably don't need any disarms because I've just smashed the hand. I've just hit it with that hard check and hit him in the ribs. I don't know if his stick is still there, but I'm just saying let's clear that line in case it is so we can get ready to follow up. If he's in that position, it could be a left angle one or forehand or it could be a backhand disarm works the same doesn't matter same disarm so that's your scissor so let's put your scissor disarm into each of those high mid and low forehand after your strike scissor disarm two after your strike scissor three strike scissor strike now with your scissor, you can use your footwork too. Low. I think you need that extra hip. Low. Extra hip. Uh, one of the other disarms you can do with double sticks would be your stick snake. So off of my check, I'm going to snake with the stick and cut it. Off the check, I'm going to snake with the stick and cut it. And again, after he doesn't have any sticks, follow up with one of your patterns. Hit, we got sticks in our hand. What are we supposed to do? We're supposed to hit. Sticks in it. Excellent. So let's add that in your stick snake and then a pattern after the stick snake. Shield contratus, check and strike. There's my stick snake. There's my pattern. Two. My stick snake, there's my pattern. Three, there's my stick snake, there's my pattern. Four, there's my stick snake, there's my pattern. Seven, six, make it out. So that is your. Uh, double stick shield contratus. We added some disarms. Um, 
You can add um, follow-ups or takedowns. There's a, not as many options because you don't have a uh, hand to grab with, but I can still get to here, and if I can hook the puño, I can do my uh, armpit leader. Um, if it's that hand and I come to the outside, I can do my arm bar leader. Okay, so you still do have options because you can use your puños to hook. They can help get you into those arm drag positions or to get you into those outer wrist throw positions. And it doesn't matter. We can use it to take the stick or we can use it to throw and take down. Um, there's a very common drill, um, not only in the modern Arnis, but uh, you see it in um, some of the other Filipino martial arts. Uh, six count numbrata. High forehand, mid, low backhand, and high center line. High forehand, low backhand, center line. So usually when we do this high forehand, we do it like a block check and a strike. But since we learned our shield contratus, now we can do it like our shield. So you get to add that into your double stick contrata. Every time we get to that one line, I'm getting that shield striking on both sides, jack and strike in. Low line could be a drop stick, or low line could be a low wing. But it's just showing that you can add that shield contratus that we've been practicing on that forehand high line. Makes sense for everyone. And then, then when you got yourself moving in that sombrata and you're doing your shield contratus on one, then you're going to try to pull off your disarms or your uh, follow-ups, um, you know, while you're moving, while you're in sombrata. And that's like Bruce had said. I mean, that's one of the amazing things about Filipino martial arts is we don't just teach you a technique, but then we actually make you apply that technique in a moving drill so that it becomes more realistic because things aren't static, um, particularly when they happen in reality. Um, if there's no questions on the two stick part, everybody grab two knives. If you don't have two training knives, grab one training knife and a pen or a flashlight or um, anything that's that size and shape. And if you don't have either, then you're just going to have to go like this with your hands and there your knives. So application wise, we're doing exactly the same thing. High line, there's my shield and there's my cuts. Shields and cuts, mid, mid, low, low. High line, and it can be coming off thrust. It doesn't have to be flashes. Same shield, same check and cut, but I'm not really checking with this. I'm splitting and cutting. It's okay for me if I split and cut and he comes back again because I'm ready. I can sit here and do this all day. And then if he comes with the other side, then you're ready for the other side. They're always in a position where you're ready to feel, feel the next strike. So that's your saber grip double dagger shield contratus. So we still have that vertical inside deflection. We still have the shield coming up behind it. Still flips over, cuts and cuts. Still have the vertical, still have the shield, flips over, cuts and cuts. We got our high line. We got our mid line. And we got our low line. Now a saber grip, you can flip your knives to ice pick grip and everything stays the same. When he comes in, this is still my vertical, this is still my shield, I turn him over. This is still my vertical, this is still my shield, I turn them over. Vertical shield, vertical shield. And I can thrust or I can slash, it's really up to me now. Huh? 
pulling stuff on Mike that he hasn't got to practice much yet. So that's your double ice pick or pakal grip. This is still your vertical. This is still your shield. Then they flip over. I would set you up for any, anything you want. This is still your vertical. This is still your shield. Flips over. One. Two. Three. Four, seven, and six. Got to get lower when you got a knife because the knife's not as long. After you get those, remember that you can always put any of your Sinwali patterns back in with your double knives now. So you shouldn't just be standing there looking at them afterwards. You should be using your weapons now that you've cleared those lines. So add a Sinwali pattern. You can go back to um, Saber Grip. If that's easier, you can go to ice pick. You could even try one or the other and see how that works. So it's up to you. Pick a, pick a position, and then you're going to do it. When you get to your position, add a Sinwali in. It could be just your two count. It could be your heaven, your heaven earth. Your earth could be any of your Sinwali patterns or any double knife pattern that you like. So add that in after each. So we got our high line, check and cut, add your pattern. Stay simple. Backhand, add your pattern. Mid. Mid. Low. And low. You can also take that um, sombrata drill, counter for counter drill that we did, and we can do it with our knives. There's our shield, there's the drop stick, there's the roof, shield, drop stick, roof. Blowing it down, there's his shield, there's my drop, there's his roof, there's my shield, there's his drop, there's my roof. So that takes us through double knife. Go ahead and drop the knives. We're going to empty hand for the last round. I only got a couple minutes left. Um, I want to give you five minutes at the end for questions. Um, so we're going to apply it empty hand two different ways. Punch is coming around like those forehand and backhands have been. I'm just going to use this upward elbow shield that still puts me in the check strike position, still puts me in the position to try any of those throws or takedowns from that position. Same thing on the other side. There's my shield. There's my strike. I can pass to go to any of those takedown positions. So on the inside, And again, that could be at any height, mid, mid, low, low. And I snagged his, uh, his nerve on the shin. Um, on, if it's a straight punch, we can use this shield as a horizontal gunting, mid, low. Okay, so you can go either inside the punch if it's more of a hooking punch or you can go split entry like a horizontal gunting if it's a straight punch because those both represent that shield position so we'll go inside line all three levels inside 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 mid inside mid inside low inside low Outside high, mid, low.
And obviously from either the inside or outside position, when you shield, strike, and come in, I have all of my things on the inside. I have my arm drag, my steering wheel throw, my hip throw, everything from that inside line. If I'm doing it on the backhand line and I'm on the outside of the arm, then I have my arm bar, my outer wrist throw, my leg takedowns, um, all the things from the outside. Um, Open it up the uh, last few minutes for any questions. Um, on the uh, chat, I put uh, my um, uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram information, anybody who wants to um, follow or, or log on. Um, I have weekly Zoom classes for our niece, uh, Thursdays and Sundays, and I have weekly uh, Zoom classes for Tai Chi and Qi Kung, which are Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturdays. Um, contact me for any information on those. Um, the only event that we have scheduled and we're really hoping everything's open by then is uh, the last weekend of August is our um, Progressive Arnie Summer Camp in Lafayette, Colorado, um, and that is August 28th, 29th, and 30th. Let me see if there's, I can't see the chat. Hold on. Uh, I thought there was a question, but I guess not. Lots Great of stuff. Thank you, Abel. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> Chris said, I think we all loved it and we're moving and sweating now. <laughs> yeah, well, definitely here in Miami, we are definitely sweating. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's 90 something today. I oh, know, upper 80s, but a lot of humidity. <laughs> um, and the great thing is, is that even some of those things that uh, Bruce did in his seminar, um, when you're using the shield contratus and you find yourself on the outside, you're already hooked on top. You can strike underneath of that arm and that'll make them block. Now you got that double trap that Bruce was working on and you can add that into any of this, particularly when you're working those sombratas, because if you can pull it off in the sombrata, you might actually be able to pull it off for real. And that's what we're always trying to get to. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Fernando. Anybody got any else, anything else right quick? And you can come off mute. Hey, Fernando, you, you got to come to class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get in your car and drive to my house and come to class. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Fernando said yes, sir. <laughs> awesome, guys. Thank you. I really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the seminars up to now. I'm going to have to hop off uh, a little later this afternoon, but I'll try to hop right back on as soon as I can. Oh, that's great. Th thanks very much, Chad. I know that uh, this, this is actually the first time we've had you for the event, and I'm, I really appreciate you, and you uh, participating and sharing. Thank you. I mean, it, it made it possible for me to be there this year, so I guess all things happen for a reason. There you go. Very good. Very good, my friend. All right. Well, thank you, sir. Thank you. I don't know how I get myself off of the. I'll share a screen here and get set up for Mr. Alex. If I can do that. I'm off mute, so that's good. Share that screen. So 